important structures after the independence of india and he was also in, involved as a city planner and engineer in many uh, planned cities like chandigarh and all that so one of the main projects uh, of charles courier was designing ayuka okay and he made use of geometric shapes and their tessellations oh so you will find a lot of fractals in ayuka you will find a lot of tessellations of squares in ayuka so everything uh, the basic building block or basic building element of any structure in ayuka is a square or a repetition of a square so the doors and entrances are also square in shape you okay. will notice that when you right. open both doors the entrance is a square the windows are square windows are square yes. the tiles are square everything is a tessellation or a repetition of a square shape even the main campus uh, the central region uh, where we come out of the canteen and we enter the central area it is a square foyer uh, right. it has a model of a black hole at the center so and it shows the expanding universe so the kund is in a step fashion so the center most point is lowest and then the campus starts to elevate to represent expansion and there are these two purple colored landscape lobes in the center of the main campus so those are the polar jets coming out of a black hole okay and then there are four statues of four astronomers uh, one is aryabhatta then there is galileo then there is newton and einstein on the four sides of ayuka and then it also has four sides because it envisions or brings together four main components or elements of ayuka one is the ayuga administration uh, which is called the aryabhatta complex one is baskar complex where we have all the lecture halls and auditoriums uh, then we have varaha mira complex where we have the ayuga library laboratories as well as data center hmm. and then there is ballava complex and uh, nalanda complex ballava is the canteen uh, named after ballava acharya and uh, the nalanda and takshashila are basically the reception or hostels of the students where okay. students stay and the entire ayuka campus uh, the main ayuka uh, offices and all that campus is called devaya and the place where people stay is called akashganga obviously okay. because right. we stay in akashganga akashganga and uh, play, workplace city pulas so this also building, yeah this oh, building this is pulas this left hand side building was the original one it is called pulas okay so it was named after a star in saptarishi constellation called pulas so there are seven rishis or seven sages in saptarishi ऋतु पुलह पुलस्ते अत्रि अंगिरा वशिष्ठ एंड मुरिक आउट ऑफ आउट ऑफ दैट पुलस्ते वाज चूजन चूजन बिकॉज दिस बिल्डिंग वाज आल्सो सेट अप विद अ डोनेशन फ्रॉम पुल देशपांडे हु इज अ फेमस लिटररीस्ट एंड ह्यूमरिस्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ही इज अ वेरी बिग डील ही ही वाज द वन हु स्टार्टेड स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी इन इंडिया ओके एंड ही वाज आल्सो वन ऑफ द फाउंडर्स ऑफ आकाशवाणी और द दूरदर्शन दैट वी नो बुक ओके सो ही स्टार्टेड दैट Uh-huh. And, uh he he was actually a pivotal role in uh, the entertainment industry in india and he helped build a lot of institutions so he was also famous for his philanthropy and one of the things that he did was he donated uh, 20 lakh rupees to ayuka for setting up a science center okay so he in wanted the 2000 yeah in the 90s 90s so uh, with the help of that uh, he also has transferred all of his uh, copyrights to ayuka so anybody buys a pula deshpande's book or any uh, play is performed in a theater the royalty goes to ayuka ayuka and with okay. that money ayuka is supposed to do science outreach so that people from pune and india and the world know what goes on in ayuka right. what astronomy is and that is why there are four such science centers uh, which have been set up or centers we can say which have been set up with the help of pula one is a science center one is a vyasan mukti kendra uh, or yes. a rehabilitation center okay 
all of these centers four cent one is exploratory which is a another type of a science center for school kids uh, there is muktangan exploratory hmm. muktangan vesan mukti kendra this is muktangan vidyan chodi so all this is within ayuka so this, this is, is or like this is given by ayuka not within ayuka okay muktangan exploratory is in is bharat vidya bhavan it yeah, is near senapati vapat so okay. okay in front of marriott all of these Hotel. things are in pune pune okay uh, because pula primarily resided in pune pune okay uh, and he worked in pune mainly he loved staying here right so uh, but then what happened is this is the ayuka science center or muktangan vidyan chodita the building was named pulasya to honor both he did not really want to give his wanted his name to be given to any building but uh, like we found a work around pulasya is also a star but it also has his <laughs> name in it so nevertheless we gave that building his name Uh, this build now this entire landscape as we saw was uh, the building is the sun then these are planets asteroid belt jupiter saturn uranus and neptune and then this is the newly established building called astronomy center for educators now on the ground floor there is office for astronomy for education which is a office of iiu international astronomical union now on the first floor there is a, a radio astronomy lab uh, on the second floor there is a optics lab there is also a dedicated editing room and a smart classroom okay uh, there is also a gravitational wave lab at, uh, at the ground floor uh, which has all the necessary optical benches and equipments necessary for doing uh, gw testing so there are a couple of interferometers and there are a couple of suspended pendulum facilities uh, they do a lot of prototyping designing work here manufacturing is not there but designing is there. okay uh, then uh, there is also a small craft classroom at the ground floor uh, which is to which is all the in the modern facilities uh, smart uh, board the smart classroom and all that uh, also for, which can be used for teleconferencing there is a uh, hu sat satellite antenna dish uh, at the building top so uh, at the top okay so it can be linked to the hu sat which is there in space and it can be used for educational purposes it can be used to relay data it can be used to relay uh, astronomy images from one place to another so any edusat center can relay data from one place to another using a satellite okay and then there are some dedicated activities which have been designed to do using that uh, ayuka also has a very uh, good optics lab in the main campus uh, they also operate the ayuka giravali observatory which is a 2 meter class telescope uh, not very far from here close to jmrt uh uh-huh. then uh, ayuka is also partners in salt which is south african larger telescope large telescope which is a 11 meter class telescope and uh, ayuka has uh, one fifth stake in it so what it means is uh, if observatory has 100 hours ayuka gets 20 hours uh, okay science science has so that is essentially what any observatory stake really means uh, then we al- are also partners in tmt india uh, aditya l1 which will be launched very soon there is already astrosat in space which we are using for quite some time now and we have a dedicated astronomy uh, support cell for astrosat and the data coming from one of the instruments called czti comes uh, to the uh, ayuka campus it is uh, processed and disseminated from here for any science that goes on with that instrument so that is still functional the astrosat was initially planned for uh, a year or so uh, but it has been now extended two days uh, day before yesterday was the seventh year anniversary of astrosat okay so we have been using it for seven years now most of it is still working mm-hmm. but it's still running in overtime so it's a, it's a bonus and then uh, we have a, a lo- lot of uh, large scientific community who is working in gw science so ayuka is leading the ligo india project so where uh, the science as well as the uh, like manufacturing of the entire observatory is being led by ayuka the not the construction part but the science part science part and also the administration part mm-hmm. for now. Uh, eventually when it becomes an observatory then ayuka will only take care of the science part science the observatory, observatory administration will run by itself so so main office is in ayuka campus right yes, now yes. okay okay so the main admin office is in ayuka right uh, then also we are partners in uh, uh, many different uh, international projects so we have uh, scientists who are opis or pis in other upcoming indian missions as well as other space based missions so we are we have stakes in lisa which is a space based gravitational wave observatory uh, we have people working in the ipta which is the international pulsar timing array mm-hmm. so imagine looking at many pulsars at the same time and because of gravitational wave pass in between passes in between the pulsar and you ideally the pulsars are very much accurate 
uh, and it can be used as good time keep, timekeeping instruments but because of gravitational waves there can be some variations which you observe and from that you deduce uh, or you try to trace back to the source which caused the gravitational wave okay and that is how you can essentially use pulsars as detectors to uh, detect gravitational wave sources so like multi messenger multi messenger right. system. so that is one thing uh, now we have uh, a couple of faculties who are developing what is known as an optical atomic clock which will be uh, designed in ayuka as well as isis so there will be two op- optical atomic clocks which will be built and run here so to why are we doing that is to uh, use these clocks for calibration of the instruments अच्छा ओके पुणे इज ऑल्सो डिफेंस एयरपोर्ट राइट पुणे डज नॉट हैव अ डेडिकेटेड सिविलियन वी शेयर इट विद द डिफेंस एयरपोर्ट वी रेंटेड फ्रॉम द डिफेंस सो यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैफिक हियर बट अदरवाइज दिस इज अ वेरी काम एंड क्वाइट प्लेस यू आल्सो हैव अ नेबर व्हिच इज एनसीआर देयर रन द गोवाटी ऑब्जर्वेटरी फ्रॉम देयर essentially it is capable of running uh, from here uh, there is a dedicated fiber optic line from narayanga all the way up to gmrt gmrt so i think potentially they can run the entire gmrt from here which they don't but they can if they want.